close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the process of breathing in the body. See if you can stay with that sensation all the way in, all the way out. You're training the mind to be observant, to watch things consistently, because you're looking for cause and effect. When you talk about having conviction in the Buddha, the conviction in his awakening, he's asking us to have conviction in the, in the power of our own actions, that what we do does shape our lives. And we can observe our own minds to the point where we can see what's skillful and what's not. In other words, he's saying that you have a lot of capabilities, you have a lot of potential, and he's showing you how to make the most of that potential. First off, you've got to learn how to watch things consistently. If you watch a little here and then a little there and then someplace else, you may have some ideas about how they're connected. But if you don't stay with any one thing for a long period of time, you don't really know what connects to what, actually. The mind likes to play connect the dots. You have a few dots here, a few dots there. You can make a plane out of them. You can make a bird out of them. Look at all the constellations in the sky. One system of constellations divides them up in one way, another in another way. In other words, the stars are there, but human beings create the lines between them. And we do that in our own minds. Now with the stars, it doesn't really matter that much. We know they're imaginary. But we base a lot of our decisions in life about what we think is connected to what and what we think is skillful. And a lot of our ideas about what's skillful and what's not are connect the dots. So you want to see where the genuine lines are. For that, you have to follow things consistently through time. That's why we stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. So we can become more reliable observers of what's not skillful and what is skillful. And then based on that, we can make a lot better decisions. So it all comes down to the power of your actions. But as with anything that has potential power, if you don't learn how to use it right, it can blow up in your hands. So train the mind. Train it to be consistent. Train it to see what's there all the way in the breath, in breath all the way out the out breath. You gain a sense of how much pressure you need to put on the breath in order to stay with it, how much is too much, how much is too little. What ways of conceiving the breath are helpful and which ones are not. You know this because you look at things over time, consistently, without any gaps. And then you remember what you've learned. This is why alertness and mindfulness are so important in any activity you do, but particularly as you're trying to train the mind. Be alert to what you're doing, be mindful to remember what you've done, and watch the results as they come out. And then as you're ardent, you try to do this well. You develop your discernment. You begin to judge what's best, what's, what, what's not best, what's middling, what's bad. And you've strengthened the mind. You've strengthened your powers of observation so you can trust your observations. You test them again just to make sure. But over time you find that you become a more reliable person. You get to the point where you don't need to have conviction in anything outside because you know what's going on inside. And you know that you can handle it well. <laughs>